Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this is going to be a bass lesson on the major scale and trying to learn how to figure out some of these notes. I believe as a bass player, it's just as important or even more important than guitar to actually know the, some of the notes that you're playing or have an idea of where those notes are um, because that you have to you know, match the root notes up with chords and change the root notes up a bit and you're dealing with single notes instead of chords like guitar. So when you're dealing with single notes, it's pretty important to know what exactly you're playing. So what we're going to do is go over just a basic major scale on bass and I'm going to show you a few ways how to play this and to how um, to apply it. Alright, so first of all we need to just know what the major scale is. The major scale in music theory in general, just the notes, is a pattern called whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So two whole steps and a half, three whole steps and a half. And if you don't know what a whole step or a half step is, it's pretty simple. A half step is when you just move from one fret to the next. So if you start on the first fret, if you go to the next fret, that's a half step. Third fret, half step, fourth fret, half step. So just moving up the frets, no matter where you do this, it's called being chromatic or moving chromatic or playing the chromatic scale, but these are called half steps. Alright, so that means a whole step is basically just two half steps. So anytime you skip a fret is a whole step. So if you move from the first to the third to the fifth, those are all whole steps. So anytime you skip a fret, that is a whole step. Alright, so it's pretty simple. So going back to the major scale patterns, two whole steps and a half step, three whole steps and a half step, let's apply that pattern. So if we started, let's say, on the third fret, G, and the way I know that is because this is the top string E, so or the fourth string E, okay? Top string if you're on a fourth string, and this is a, the fourth string, second to the top if you're on a five string. All right, so if you're on an E and you go up a half step, that's the next note in music, which is F. If you go up another half step, it's F sharp. If you go up another half step, it's G. All right, so we're on G here, and if we apply the major scale pattern, we'll see what comes out. So we have G, whole step, to an A, whole step to a B, half step to a C, and then we have three whole steps, whole step to a D, whole step to an E, whole step to an F sharp, whole step or half step to a G. Okay, we can do that anywhere we want to on the neck. Okay, so any key you want to start out with and practice that. All right, but you don't want to try to move all the way up and down the neck playing a bunch of notes to a song, right? You gotta move up, wait from start up here with F sharp and come way down here to an A. Really wouldn't make much sense. So let's try to group these notes in a place where you only move your fingers and not your hand much. All right, so we're gonna start on the G and we're gonna do the major scale pattern. Okay, so this is a pretty simple pattern. Let's start on G using your second finger. So wherever your second finger is, this is gonna be position two, okay? So this is position two, and we're gonna to move to a four. And that simply means that the next fret up is gonna be three, your third finger, and that means the next fret up after that is gonna be your fourth finger, or the fourth position. So a two, four is just simply a G and an A with your second and fourth finger. So two, four. All right, moving down to the next string, we're gonna play a one, two, four pattern. So we're gonna start on the second fret now. That's your one, third fret's gonna be your two, and then the fifth fret, your four. So, so far we have two, four, one, two, four. All right, and the last one is gonna be a one, three, four on the next string. Okay, so the whole pattern is two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Let's see a close-up of that. All right, so I'm starting on the third fret here. You can start anywhere you want to. I'm gonna play my second finger on the third fret. Two, four. Drop down to the next string. One, two, four. Then one, three, four on the next string. Okay, so since we start on G, this is the G major scale. Now if we move this up to A, start on A, you would do the same exact pattern, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, on A, and you're gonna play the A major scale, or the key of A. Same thing if we went to, let's say, B. Or a weird key, maybe like G sharp. So 
see how the pattern fits everywhere. You can also do this on different strings. So if you started maybe with a low E on the top B string, okay, just play E major scale. Or maybe you want to start on the third string, Let's say a D right here. Anywhere you play this pattern, it works. Alright, so you can see this major scale pattern is pretty easy and uh, it's actually pretty easy to use too. So we have two ways of playing it so far. We can group all the notes together in the major pattern or we can just play the whole steps and half steps. Okay, it's both the same thing. So what you want to do is start assigning numbers to this major scale. Okay, so you, you may have heard in music before the Nashville number system or the music number system or just people calling out numbers. This is a one, six, five, four chord progression. Well, if you don't know what that is, this is going to kind of help you a little bit. So let's say we're in the key of G. Let's just stick with G. All right, each number in this scale or each letter in this scale has a number. And it's real simple. You're just going to sign the first letter, the first number, one. All right, so we have G is a one. A is going to be the two. Or the second note in the scale is going to be two. Third note in the scale is going to be three. And so forth. Four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And eight is your octave. So it's the same thing as one. Eight's a one. Or eight is another root note. Okay, so now we have the octave position. We know what the octave position looks like because of the one and the eight from the major scale. So an octave is any time you skip a fret and a string. So for the octave of this, we're on the, the E string third fret and the um, D string fifth fret. Okay, so that's our octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say we're playing a song with a, a one, four, five chord progression. Well, that's pretty simple to figure out if you know the major scale. You know that the one is the G, the first note in the scale. The four, two, three, four is going to be a B, A, uh, I mean a G, A, B, C. Okay, C is your four, and then D is going to be your five. So your position is here on a G, drop down to a C, slide that up a whole step to a D. One, four, five chord progression. Maybe you want to play a one, six, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have our six. One, six, five, four. All right, then you also hear stuff like flat sevens. Well, that's easy. A flat seven, let's go, let's find our seven first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just a seventh note in the scale. A flat seven just means you're going to play that seven and flat it one. So move it down a half step. So in this case, it's an F. Alright, so if this is an F, let's say you don't want to play a flat seven all the way up there, you can move this down even lower. So let's play the octave of that F lower. So now we're on the first fret. So you can play a one flat seven four five chord progression. And it'd be one flat seven four up to a C and then a D for the five. Or you could play the flat seven up here where we started. One flat seven four five. All right, so that's all the numbers are. If you ever hear numbers, that's all they mean. Just Nashville number system, major scale. It's pretty simple. So I hope this major scale helps on.